Hi, I'm going to show you how to build a Google News aggregator using some Python script. So what you're looking at now is the end result of a dashboard that has been created in Power BI using some Google News that we were able to uh, scrape using a Google News aggregator. So let me zoom into the dashboard a bit. So let me go to the view. And we're going to just view with the full width. You can see we have the stories by day. And I'm pulling in stories from Amazon, Apple, and Microsoft. And then we have a line graph here that shows us the amount of stories we were able to pick up. The distribution of stories across all of the ones that we have. And... At the bottom here is all of the headlines, the links, and whatever we want to bring in, such as a publish date. So I could click into one of these, and it would take me to the actual Google News story. So uh, definitely we have a filter here. This is just the last 14 days, I believe, I have this filter to. But this could come in handy if you were tracking uh, particular items or companies that would be important to you. So let me show you how I was able to create that underlining data set. So I'm going to just go over to transform data. And the code is not actually running there, but I wanted to show you the full data set. So you can see all of the titles there in the links. Then we have the keyword that we can separate this by and the date that it was published. So let me pull up a Jupyter Notebook for us to go through the code. So here we are in our Jupyter Notebook. I set this into three categories that we're going to do. We're going to install the Google News Library, uh, which gives us a scraper. And then we're going to be using the news crawler. And then we're going to be using loops to get the relevant information out of all the information that the crawler provides. So uh, the first part, we are using Pi Google News, which is a Google News scraper. This is not the only scraper out there. I just chose this one because I'm familiar with it, but you can explore others. And you don't need to always install things through your Anaconda prompt or your... Um, uh, your command prompt. You can also use your Jupyter Notebook. So you can see here that I have installed all of the particular uh, packages that are associated with this uh, library. And mine are already satisfied, but the way we do that is using a exclamation mark. And this will allow you to use your conda dot install, a conda space install, or pip install to bring in a library of your choice. So once you do that, it'll be installed on your PC. Then we're going to use this new scrawler. So first, we're going to import pandas as pd as a data manipulation library, as usual. We are going to get the Google News scraper from Pi Google News. So you start that statement from Pi Google News, import Google News. Once we have Google News, we want to pass it the location and the country we want to get news from. So you are not limited to your own country or your own language. You can be in any language you want. And you can translate that using some other packages such as TextBlob. So I save Google News uh, function here as GN just to shorten it. And uh, um, this is going to divide, define that search crawler. So then once I have GN, I can use the search function within the Google News function. And I looked up ChatGPT. And I just specified entries here. And just let me show you why. So if I press Shift and Enter, What you're going to be given is this dictionary, and dictionaries are always indicated by curly brackets, and there's a lot more information here. If I kind of shorten that by just using, uh, just give me the entries from each 
all of this information because these are all stories and titles. It'll be easier for me to kind of loop through and get that information. So I'm going to say, just give me entries, and I spelled that wrong, so entries. So you can see here the information is now in a list. So the list is just the regular brackets. And when we have that list, you can see what happens is we are given the title, the language, links. There's a lot of information that we can pull from this. Um, I'm just going to comment this out because it's a lot of information and I don't want to just have it in the way. So let's run it again. And what we're going to do is we're not going to get anything. So how do we get from all that information, we just get to some of the information. So as you saw, and let me just run that again as an example. Uh, let's do this. As you saw in all of this, there's a title. So what if I only wanted the title? And you can see the title is also a dictionary within this information. And the way we can do that is through loops. So we use a loop to kind of loop through all the information. And in Python, it's a for loop. There, there are a couple ways to do loops, but this is the most common. So what you're going to, let me just do this. Uh, just document what we're doing, looping through the scraper. And you can see what we do is we start that out with four, and then we have a placeholder here for individual element. So what individual element within all of this information above, um, I want to go through each one of those, and I want you to print just the title. And I can pull out the title from this individual information because all of this is a dictionary. And we can pull out different dictionary elements from just by specifying them. And you can see what happens is I was able to pull out all of the titles from this chat GPT search instead of having all that information. Now you'll see why this is so useful. So we know how to do our loop, which let's just review. We, for each individual element in our search entries, I want you to print just the titles, and that's what we got. So let me close this section here, which is quite long. And let's do a few more loops to get the information that we want. So. Now what I said, said, I want an empty stories list. And I want to loop through each one of those searches. And this time, I want to bring back the title and the link. But I also want to specify that in a dictionary. So I'm going to have my key and value pair. So once I have this dictionary, I can also save that as a variable, and then append that to my empty list stories. So this is what I've done. I have my empty list stories. I've gone through each one of those elements. Then I've created a dictionary with title. And then within all those individual titles, I brought back titles. And then with all those individual links, I brought back links. I append it to this empty list, and then I created a data frame. And let's see what that looks like just by using the word data here. So I'm going to run that. And you can see what we get. We get chat GPT title and the link. Now we can take it one step further and do a loop on top of a loop. We know that loops iterate through each individual thing. So what if I said I have a list here, which is this bracket notation with Microsoft, Apple, and Amazon. And these are going to be my keywords. So all I do is take the previous loop and say, OK, go through each one of these. Use this keyword within the search. And then bring back the title, each individual title, 
So that's the title and the value, the link, and each individual link, the, the keyword, and the keyword within this list, and the date that's published within all of that information. Then append this to those empty stories, and then show me the data frame. So let's run this. And this one might take slightly longer. So you can see it's, it's gone and got all of the Microsoft, uh, the Apple, and Amazon news, and then appended that all together. We have our title, link, and keyword, and date. And then we can save this as a CSV that we can now bring this within our uh, Power BI environment. And what we end up with is bringing that data in. Let me just show you. Using um, just bringing that in as a text document and then creating the dashboard that you see here and being able to run this um, Jupyter Notebook you could either automate that, and if you guys are interested in seeing how we can automate different things uh, with Python, I'll show you how to automate that where it runs every day, and you'll be able to see the different news aggregators uh, by day. Or you can just run the notebook manually by day, and then you can come and create this dictionary, which can be pretty interactive and you can add other information too. I hope that was interesting. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.